Hey guys, and welcome to the Working Money Channel. So I gotta say, I'm getting off today kinda late. Uh, yesterday was a very long day. I was shooting uh, the last day of my short film. As some of you guys know, just wanted to show you guys a quick snap of my talented actress, Leanna, and uh, yours truly there in the corner with a bit of a snarl on his face. This was on location yesterday, and thank you guys so much for all the support and all the outpouring of positive energy my way, guys. Yesterday, XRP made some gains. We're gonna get into that. Is alt season over already? But first, I just wanted to warn you this from xrp underscore veteran of a scam alert and so apparently there is an account on instagram that is pretending to be ripple uh he sent this to me as a dm and i just wanted to kind of forward it on to you guys to let you guys know not to be fooled and to please for as many people as possible to report this account uh scammers in the community should not be tolerated and they should be reported i totally agree at xrp underscore veteran so thank you so much for the alert uh i'm kind of going backwards today this from the daily hodl bitcoin whales move 11,407 btc worth 116 million dollars as ripple appears to sell more XRP. And guys, this just from Whale Alert. Always keeping you up to date on the latest movements in the space uh, for cryptocurrencies. Uh, and it looks as if these were over the counter sales. In the last 24 hours, whales have moved 11,407 BTC worth 116 million. The largest single transaction sent 7,800 BTC worth 79.6 million between two wallets of unknown origin uh and down here meanwhile ripple appears to have sold more xrp to a third party so the company sent 11 million xrp worth 3.2 million from its over-the-counter distribution wallet and this is the wallet ripple uses to sell portions of its holdings uh and they sold it to an unknown wallet uh just reporting that there i saw this from king solomon on twitter retweeted by bank xrp so that's king solomon at xrp underscore owl october 14th 2019 santander will be discussing one pay effects, meaning X current guys, and plan expansion of Ripple Tech to non customers via Pago FX. So, uh, a few screen grabs here from the program. So, this coming up next month, King Solomon highlighted down here the One Pay FX success story uh, connecting the dots. Santander's One Pay FX are experienced with Ripple. So, I'm reading these out of order. I don't know. My brain's kind of all over the place today. From One Pay FX to Pago FX going open market. DLT as a use case example in international payments. So, guys, of course, all of this associated with their partner, Ripple Labs, uh, using their technology, obviously, RippleNet. And down here in this last paragraph, as part of this, Santander plans to extend OnePayFX, its real-time mobile money transfer system, developed in concert with Ripple to non-customers through a standalone open market app called PagoFX, which will be launched in the UK, Germany, and Poland for individuals and SMEs in the future. So more progress happening in the crypto space with Ripple in particular. The cross-border payment industry, Europe, is moving forward. This is all great news, guys. Uh, but I know your eyes were all focused on the market yesterday and the fact that well right now it ain't looking so great it's looking like we have a lot of red right now uh, but wow look at stellar up 15.3 percent but yesterday and the day before was a different story wasn't it the market cap right now at 262.3 billion but guys bitcoin dominance is decreasing we reached that 70 percent approximately went a little higher than that and then all of a sudden we started to see bitcoin dominance plummet altcoins were in the green and bitcoin was hovering you know in that 10,200 range approximately around that you know 10,001 10,002 somewhere around there now bitcoin trading at 9,879 dollars approximately so are we starting to see a shift or was that the end of altcoin season uh, it was funny. I was looking on Twitter here. Crypto Fungus, that's at Crypt Zero Fungus on Twitter, says RIP altcoin season, September 17th to September 18th, 2019, with a cute little rose. And I feel like this kind of sums up how we feel uh, on the 19th today about the last couple of days. We've been waiting for altcoins to rise, and it happened for a couple of days, but now what? Uh, everything seems to be going back to the status quo. When I go to the chart here, uh, this is Bitcoin, by the way, guys, on the hourly. But look at XRP, right? We saw huge momentum up. This is XRP on the hourly. Then we saw a bit of a bear move down here. So let's take a look at this further. So what can we say about this altcoin rally? Well, first of all, guys, here are some of the top coins and what they did between uh, September 17th at about midnight to September 18th at about 10 a.m. We saw Litecoin up 7.7%. Cardano ADA up 14%. 0.9% Tron up 20% XRP up 25.4% and XLM wow 
made some major gains up 41.4%, Bitcoin down 0.6% in that same time frame as these other altcoins. And let me just go and show you guys the Bitcoin dominance chart now. Uh, so guys, this is Bitcoin dominance on the hourly. And as you can see, a cascade down Bitcoin dominance trying to pull back up. And I don't know if you guys can see it here, but there's a bit of a inverse head and shoulders here on the Bitcoin dominance chart. Uh, does that mean that uh, Bitcoin will still try to pull through? Well, it could very well. Uh, ultimately, though, it has to now break this mark here for Bitcoin dominance, right? It has to essentially break that. And that falls roughly between 70.01% and 70.41%. So still in and around that 70% mark. Uh, I'm sure if I pull out here on the daily, you can see it a little better. Uh, so guys, Bitcoin dominance broke through this level here. Uh, and could we see all coins continue to gain momentum? So once Bitcoin dominance, for those of you guys who kind of don't understand this, we want this to go down. Okay, the further Bitcoin dominance goes down, the better for altcoin holders, because what that means is people who have their money in Bitcoin are now taking it out of Bitcoin and putting it into altcoins. And that's why you can see that uh, the market cap has stayed relatively the same, you know, in that 260 some odd billion. But now this Bitcoin dominance is lowering. It was around 70, 69, 70. Now it's at 67.6. And so is altcoin season done? Is it only two days? Or is this just the beginning of a broader trend because guys let's go back to the dominance here uh bitcoin dominance on the daily we got to remember so the bull run of 2017 and this is going to sound a little counterintuitive maybe because the bull run of 2017 for altcoins happened here okay from roughly so this is like december 10th or so december 11th all the way to early january january 11th or so and that's when altcoins saw the majority of their gains in correlation to Bitcoin. And again, this is the Bitcoin dominance chart on a daily Bitcoin dominance had to have gone down in order for altcoins to go up, right? Because they're taking their money out of Bitcoin, putting it into altcoins. So when you look at this on, you know, a, a smaller time frame, a, a smaller time frame, a micro time frame. I don't know if we can go back that far, though. Can we go back that far? Uh, I don't think it'll let me. No, it won't let me. Okay, whatever. I'll go back on the daily here, guys. And you can probably extrapolate from what I'm going to tell you here. Look at these days. So we saw, so before Bitcoin dominance fell, we had to see some bullish days. We saw some bullish days. It hit that peak of about 70% and then the cascade, but it didn't happen all at once. There were these two days here, if you guys can look in. So Bitcoin dominance going down, down, and then there was a bit of a corrective rally, right? right here on this third day. And then we saw a little bit of indecisiveness and then three more days of Bitcoin plummeting. So guys, this is the exact same thing as any other crypto market. There's going to be corrections. It's not going to be a straight line. So when we go back to uh, the last couple of days here, right guys, and we're seeing this, okay? We saw some correction here. Okay, first we saw Bitcoin go down a bit, then a correction, then a bit of a cascade down here below that 70% mark. Uh, and now today, guys, correct a little bit so is this a little misleading perhaps because this is still just a snapshot of the bigger picture of what could happen for alts I personally think alts are going to have more of a chance than just what we had seen over the last couple of days one of the other things I want to point out to you guys on this chart here is if you take a look at the volume so you know there's a strong move down when volume bars are large but there's also large candlesticks now, what does it mean for the opposite? If we're in a downtrend, the downward pressure is larger, the upward pressure not so much. We see a little bit of upward pressure when we're correcting, but ultimately the trend shows that the downward momentum is stronger than the upward momentum. And that's why they say, if you're putting in long positions in a bear market, one of my trading teachers said this and I will never forget it. It's like picking up nickels in front of a freight train. You might get a little bit of profit, but it really isn't worth it. That's because the ultimate trend is going down. So just back to my point, overall trend, and again, guys, this is Bitcoin dominance, looks to be like it's going down. We broke this level of support. Longer bearish candlesticks here, uh, slightly smaller bullish candlesticks in this corrective pattern, but look at the volume. So a lot of people 
are buying long right now. Whoops. A lot of people are buying long right now, but the price really isn't moving that much upward, but the price isn't reflecting that. Okay. So what does this likely mean? That the bear pattern will continue for Bitcoin dominance, which essentially will be great for altcoins. That is at least what the chart is suggesting right now. Finally saw Crypto Sarah on Twitter at Altcoin Sarah. It's nice to see alts pump 10, 20, or even 30%, but please don't forget that you're currently 95% down on your initial investment. Ha ha ha, Crypto Sarah. Alex Cobb was quick to pick up on this, not if you bought at yearly lows. And Crypto Sarah, you gotta remember this. Your portfolio is only down 95% if you bought at all time high. If you've been cost averaging down this whole time, your investment should be in a pretty good spot right now. So anyways, guys, let's keep an eye on the Bitcoin dominance. That is really going to be the key factor in how altcoins will behave. I personally still think we're in for a bit of an altcoin push, but that's just my opinion. I wanna hear what you guys think. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Like the video if you like the content. I'm providing. I always love hearing your comments. See you in the next one, guys.